Hey everybody, welcome back to more East Origin, where last time we went and defeated Velagunder and then explored the Flooded Prison. Going through the Flooded Prison, we noticed that it's a little bit flooded, obviously judged by the name, but we at least got a little bit of a faster movement option, which kind of helps a little bit. But there is some water that we actually can't go through because we can't hold our breath that long. Thankfully, while talking to an opponent, and she said that we suspiciously looked like somebody, no idea who yet, we wound up getting the Water Dragon Scales right after that fight. Before we could actually use these Water Dragon Scales, we got summoned right back over here, and we talked to everybody who's now all here. But now that we're pretty much good to go, let's go back into the Flooded Prison, and actually explore the place proper, shall we? Thankfully, it shouldn't be way too hard or way too easy. We just kind of go through. And now that I can just continue to do what I do by just destroying everything by just spamming the button, these things really aren't that tough at all. <laughs> they really aren't. Just sit there and just like, bam, and you can't do anything to me. There we go. And I'm going to go right over here. And then I'm going to wait a teeny little bit. Go right over here. And then, whoop, right over here. Get rid of you since you can somehow miss me. That's fine. It didn't even break my shield. It just missed me entirely. All right, I'll get rid of you, and we'll continue forward. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a level up or two going through this area again, which is honestly something I'm going to do because, again, he goes squishy. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that for as long as it's relevant, <laughs> which is pretty much the whole game. <laughs> so get rid of you while I'm at it. And then do 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 grab all those. And get rid of you of my maximum firepower. Because we're pretty much in the little spot that gives me a lot of experience for killing things. And I like to go through this spot relatively safely. Just kind of grab all these while I'm at it so I can get some extra stat buffs, some HP back and all that. And then just destroy these things while I still have all those. Get double XP is really good. Just bam, 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 bam. I should probably put up the shield while they're attacking me. That's fine. All right, one of them's actually bigger and actually was able to hit me because I wasn't actually attacking that one, but it's fine. They're both dead now. There we go. Now we can continue forward. You have a bunch of water to deal with. If we want to not drown, we basically just equip this and then we can walk through and have a lot more air to deal with. That coupled with the fact that we're able to run a little bit faster. I mean, we're still kind of bogged down by being moving through water and all. We could at least get through this part relatively cleanly. Just keep our oxygen levels in check by just keeping that thing on. If I turn it off right now, I would probably drown really quickly. I would not make it in time, more than likely, unless I took it off like right now, but then I'd be... Eh, I might as well just keep it on because I'm going to be needing it really shortly anyway in this place. So let's go right through this door and continue forward, which thankfully actually gives us a little bit of a war point right over here, which means we won't have to go through that flooded hallway anymore. There we go. And while I'm here, since I have a decent chunk, I might as well make it so I... I'm not really getting poisoned right now, so I'm just going to strengthen my current armor and just kind of pop that off. Why not? There we go. And I'll just save up to try to get the bad status duration thing. In the meantime, though, let's go through this area and get rid of you. Ow. Get rid of you. Don't attack me like that. Ow. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to put up a shield. And just keep attacking you. Thank you. You are also dead. And then we're going to go in the water. Which means that we move slowly again. Thankfully, though, I can just stand right over here and just shoot these things from, like, pretty much wherever I'm at. They don't really have to come to me in order to hit them. Which is nice, because there's a gate to the left of me, and they can kind of go through the gate, which makes it a little bit harder to hit them. Unless you're Hugo, and then you can just kind of just shoot through the gate. But, you know way, might as well just go through that. Now that we opened it up, I might as well just grab all these, two. There we go. I almost have enough to actually buy the bad status duration thing already, so that's fine. And if I break this, see how my oxygen level's like down a little bit? If I break this, I get a thing that fills up my oxygen. So just keep those in mind. You break pots, kill enemies, and you might get those. Ow. <laughs> it's really useful. But yeah, we have some enemies that we can't really do anything with, and this doesn't actually damage enemies, so we're going to need to find a way to get around. So in this area, we see a cracked wall that we can't really do anything with at the moment. Some pots, which I would assume have more of the oxygen things in it. Yes, they do. So just get more oxygen. And then we're just going to continue forward. We're thankfully enough. Kind of a rather big area. Still enemies we can't hit. But maybe if you go down here, there is an enemy we can hit. So I'll just do this. Get rid of you. Get my oxygen back right over here. So I can actually go through this area with full oxygen and not be like half down already. Because this area is rather flooded. And a lot of water to deal with. So we're just going to kind of do this. Make sure to not go straight into those spikes because they will hurt. Just kind of hold the direction. You go really slowly, but at least we have more than enough oxygen to get through this. Let's we'll just do it one more time right over this way. 
It'd be nice if you could move faster by just spamming the jump, but if you just spam the jump a little too much, you might like overshoot it. And then you have to wait for yourself to fall down once you're just wasting oxygen at that point. So I'm going to leave that pot there for now because if it has oxygen in it, it means I'm going to get my oxygen back and I might as well just go over here and grab this. Acquired a rotafruit. That rotafruit must be filled with water. I don't know if it's very ripe or very soggy at this point. Either way, let's grab this. There we go. Oxygen back up to the max. And let's go this way. We have a hole right there, but spikes that lead a little bit further. Because this place is a very horizontal of an area, which means that there might be something in this direction. Which there is. So I'm going to leave that pot right there with that oxygen and grab some ebony shoes. New equipment already. So if I actually go to equip that. Ebony shoes. Waterproof boots. Helps to maintain movement speed in water. Which pretty much just gives me like the ensemble that like what he's actually wearing. <laughs> so it's kind of nice. But I'm going to do that. Grab some oxygen. And now I can actually move quite quickly through water, which is going to be very helpful, especially in these water currents. I just move much faster. So now I could just weasel my way down and then weasel my way down. Uh, that's fine. I'm probably fine with you hitting me there. And there we go. Just go straight down and then straight down the hole. I'm going to leave that pot there because again, oxygen, I'm going to need it. Well, let's just fall down, avoid landing on those spikes because those are just like a beginner's death trap there. We'll grab this acquired Levin strike Warhammer. A surge of power bursts forth from the artifact. Hugo is granted the use of the Trap Mine skill. Trap Mine. Hugo's Trap Mines are pressurized with the magical energy, erupting at will for massive damage. So Will better watch out, otherwise he's going to die by mines. Either way, we can drop an orb at Hugo's feet that explodes on a time delay. So it's pretty much just like you place it and then it explodes out there a little bit. So just hit the right face button and then boom. But the nice thing is the game actually explains that it will break down weakened walls or damage heavily armored enemies. So now we know we can actually get rid of those turtles pretty dang easily. But if we get a Topaz, we can actually charge up to have an even more powerful mine. We don't have one yet, so we'll have to get one of them somewhere in order to do that. For now, though, let's just keep hopping, 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 hopping until we can get some oxygen right over here. Uh, thank you. And we'll swap over to the skill, which doesn't actually use that much magic, thankfully enough. So as you can tell, we had like three bars and we could use it like so. Bam. It's not very strong against these guys right here. It's actually a terrible example of an enemy honestly they should give us like a turtle right there so we can experience it right away you know like a game design like trope where it's like oh hey this is what you do in order to destroy them you see that enemy you, you just bypass it because you can't get rid of it sort of scenario but we already know there is one up ahead so they don't really necessarily need to tutorialize us like that we can just do this and then explode them like that they're weak to it too so it's actually kind of nice that they just explode Either way, now that we have that, we can actually kill all the ones that are red over here and actually kind of line them up like this and they're just plant it down. We can plant more than one if we want. They really don't cost that much MP to use. It's kind of nice. It's just that the enemies like to, you know, fall around, so they're not exactly easy to hit with it. You need to have them close to Hugo, which is honestly a bad if you know how, again, Hugo is squishy. Just be careful of that. Just plant the mine and kind of hope that you don't get killed in the process. I mean, you don't explode by your own minds, which is nice. But, yeah, it still hurts. Acquired Arthropod Medallion. The Arthropod Medallion, if we take a little quick look at it. Medallion found in the flooded prison area. The engraving depicts a many-legged insect creature. It's like we're going to be needing that to unlock a boss. I mean, we used the first one to unlock a boss. I would assume this one also does as well. Let's just plant that down while they're kind of distracted. And then we could just continue going forward that way. So let's do that. I have more than enough oxygen to get through this part, so I might as well just go to this pot right over here and then bam, oxygen just in case. Even though I just had to add more than enough, might as well just top it off. And then go right over here and then bam, bam, bam. There we go, perfect. And then we just go straight up. There's a lot of spikes in this area, which I feel would make more sense in an area that wasn't flooded. But I, I guess you might slowly sink towards it, depending on what armor you're wearing or whatever. But if you're swimming around, you don't sink to the bottom of water. Unless you're, like, wearing something heavy that causes you to, so. I, I feel like that would just be, like, really? <laughs> if you get hit by that, it's, like, your own dang fault. All right, you can stop doing that. Thank you. And then we're going to go up a little bit further. Hello. It's going to grab this while you're distracted. A cell set in Panacea. 
I'm okay if you're just falling and not getting anywhere near me. I'm just gonna plant a lot of these. Just kind of make sure they get a lot of damage going on. Get rid of you and then you. All right. Perfect. And we'll go up this way. All right, now that I'm out of the water, let's actually use that cell setting panacea so I don't drown myself because whenever I click on this, you notice that I am not highlighted over the water dragon scales anymore. It would be nice if the water dragon scales was like an equipment item. <laughs> so you equip that and then you're good. But if you tap off of this, you're like, uh oh, now I can't breathe underwater because I'm not apparently holding them even though they're in my inventory. You'd think that they'd just be active, like no matter what, since they're on your person, but I don't know. There we go. Hello there, Rue. I feel like I shouldn't be able to see you there, but considering this game normally is like four by three, I still feel like I would be able to see you. It's just kind of weird that I see like a teeny portion of you. It's like, there's the butt. <laughs> go over there. I mean, I guess it makes sense for like a little hint that you just see it there and then you come over there later. You see that and you're like, hmm, maybe I should see if I can find a rotifer, maybe. That's like the only thing I would expect people to be like, oh, hey, there's just maybe something around here. So I'll just go look for it. Do this, I can make this jump and then do this again because they're all gonna come to me anyway. So I might as well just chill over here until they do. Thank you. And stay right there if you're big water beams that just don't hit me because while I can hit you, you can't hit me for some reason at that angle. All right. These guys here are actually weak to, you know, my wind magic. The thing is, is that my wind magic's a shield. <laughs> so it's not really very helpful. It's nice all the same considering how much damage these guys just take up their big damage sponges. And what I could do in the meantime is just kinda, either way, just blow them up and just go like, hello enemies. They don't take a lot of damage, but it's still damage and it does push them away, which makes it a little bit easier for me to just not get hit by enemies, which is always a boon. Rid of you as well. Might as well just get rid of you while I'm at it. There we go. Grab all that. And there we go. That would have been useful like two seconds ago. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of you as well. Ow. He hit me rather strongly. Just knocked me over. But yeah, going over here, we see the Rue. Hello there. The Rue appears to be hungry. Another hungry Rue. You and I haven't met, it would seem. We'll give it a rotor fruit. We received the topaz. Chat mind power increase, which means we could hold down the button and just boom. You're certainly a rather well mannered species, aren't you? Thank you, I appreciate the gesture. Are you now here? Well, yes, not here. And the funny thing is, since this roof is still here, I can actually talk to it again. Yep, he sticks around for a little bit. You can talk to him a little bit longer, and it has a little bit more text that you can't read on first glance unless you know how to translate that. Ow! <laughs> I still get knocked over anyway, but that's fine. Get rid of all you since you're all right here. It's just all worth the free experience because why not? They'll just blow you up as well. Go over here, blow you up as well. Thank you. And you. And then you and you and you. So much free experience. Why not? Might as well just go back in this room really quick since it's a quick, easy way to kind of grind right here. Let's just do this. And then just bam, 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 bam. Just get my experience up until I fill up this bar at least one more time so I get another level up. There we go, get rid of you and you. There we go, perfect. And I might as well just get rid of the rest of the crowd over here since, why not? There we go, we'll continue forward. Right around over here. To another locked save point, as well as enemies that are blocking it. So I'll just kind of plant the mine so I can do a little bit more damage to them while they're just kind of struggling to hit me. And I'll just do one of these and just kind of blow them up. Rather easy one to get rid of. And it unlocks the door. I'll grab all of these while I'm here. Perfect. And we'll unlock this. 
All right, and now let's see. What can I get? I can strengthen my current leg and so I'm a little bit stronger. So we'll just do that really quick so we have enough for that. And then I'm going to... Hmm, I almost have enough for that, but... You see the effect of herbs? Hmm. Actually, hmm, <laughs> I like that one. Extend the effects. Sure, why not? I'll grab that one. That way they kind of last a little bit longer and then we're pretty much good to go. And I don't really have enough to go any further, but we're at the door to a new boss. So next time Azure plays more East Origin, we're going to head through that door and face what lies within. See you all then.